What is up, Internet? We have decided to not really start the ethical way, but this is a 2008 Honda CBR 600 RR. That stands for, you know, really retarded. But still, that ninja over there is a little bit more beautiful. It also has track squid on Instagram and Snapchat. Make sure you follow. But what we're doing on here is an exhaust swap. All right, so we got this big-ass clanky piece of metal. And we are going to take it on. We've got a Yoshi RS5 exhaust, and it's just a slip-on, because you don't really need anything more than a slip-on right now. So we're going to maintain the O2 sensors down there, and you won't really need to map the bike or get an ECU flash. But if you want to get an ECU flash and map the bike, it'll just get more performance out of it that you need. This is just me. Anytime you have a stock bike, you're going to want to get an ECU flash or tune it or anything to get the best performance that you can, because these United States bikes are not tuned like... European bikes. European bikes, they get you more high-end, top-end power. But these bikes are limited. Getting it tuned will just open it up even more. Alright, we're about to turn this bad boy on and let you hear how loud it isn't. And so that's what it sounds like when you're, uh, it's basically like putting a pillow over someone who's screaming. Sure, you hear it, but it's kind of muffled. One thing I'm definitely liking about this bike that is not on mine is the fact that his battery is right here and it's easily accessible. Over here in the 05 Ninja, you've got the negative terminals that are right here under the seat, but the positive terminal is here under the tank. So if you want to do anything, you got to pop the tank and the seat off, pop the side panels off. Then you got to take the rear tire off, undo the chain, empty the tank of gas, make sure you take out the oil and filter, take off the radiator, take the key out, because if you leave the key in, the bike might explode. So there's just something about these newer bikes that's a lot worse, that's a lot better than these, uh, these older bikes. I have a crack right here. Son of a dick. I've probably been hopping up on the tank too much. I know that I've been hopping on the tank too much because I've got another little crack right here and a chip in the paint. All over these. I did a couple woolies today and I came down really hard, so I was afraid that I busted one of the fork seals. And I'm not too sure. Idiot. No, I didn't, luckily. But still, I just came down way too hard. There was not enough throttle control right there. So, what are you doing right now? Taking off this. Uh, taking off this. You mean you're taking off the. the inside the heat shield? Well, what your problem is, is you're tightening it up. You're twisting it the wrong way. Lefty Lucy. From this angle, you're righty tighty. Fucking shit. Alright, so do it the other way and watch it come off. If I were you, I wouldn't do it like that. Did you get it? Look at that. Amazing. Science. Aliens. Just for shits and giggles, let's pop this bad boy on. And then we'll do a sound test comparison at the end of the whole how to to find out which sounds better. Definitely make sure you leave your opinion in the comments down below to find out who has the better bike. Orange Beauty or Obama? That sounds that sounds like sex with a, t a twenty year old. See what my intern here is doing is he's taking off the rear sets so he can get to the heat shield to take the heat shield off so he can get down to where we need to connect the mid pipe. Put a little elbow grease in it. All right, dudes of the internet, we just got done taking that massive heat shield off. By massive, it's about, it's about as big as me. All we had to do is take out the screw from here, and then there's a little rubber grommet right in there. You just pop it off, and the heat shield comes right off. So this is what we've got to do next. We've already got the the rear set off, and you have to undo this O-ring. And then once we undo that, we'll unscrew the other two bolts holding the exhaust up, and it's pretty much just, you know, cakewalk. It's like a cakewalk, but it's like you with an ugly girl. You, you pull out Game Be Strong, and you just take it right out and move it on out. Then we'll start this bad boy up, see what it sounds like for a second. And after we're done cleaning up our pants and changing our underwear, we'll go ahead and put the Yoshi on. All right, let's get it done. All right, so I went ahead and got the O-clamp. That's going to take a 12 millimeter ratchet, and not the ones that you find in your, uh lively neighborhoods. We go ahead and take the bolts off that it's holding this this thing we're probably gonna sell for about 30 bucks. Keep all stuff for it. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna check your fingers. Anyway. Check my fingers? Ah oh, shit, that must have been a pooper. 20 bucks says it. It sounds like a cow is sucky.
Oh shit. So internet, we've seemed to have run into a problem. That problem here is that we didn't get any beer. I am thirsty. And just with a flick of the wrist, <laughs> we got that. <laughs> that, that looks like a mouse, you know? Here's the body of the mouse and there's the tail. There's the hole. About to start this bad boy up. Oh man, and see what it sounds like. Now we're only gonna run it about maybe five, 10, 15, 20 seconds or so. <laughs> Did you say Bush did 9-11? What? Jet Fuel can't mess those games. Oh, 9-11 did Bush. Holy hell! I liked it. That was great. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down in the section below. I want to know. Thumbs up if you like the way it sounds now, or thumbs down if you like the, uh, the stock exhaust. Let us know. So I have to be quiet because he's talking to his pet right now. But what we're doing is we're reinstalling the heat shield. That way, the new pipe over here doesn't heat up the bottom of the bike and melt his uh, testicles because we all know that you know when you overheat the testicles you have less of a chance of having a boy and when you when you want to have a baby you either have a boy or an abortion so it's one or the other so we've got the Yoshi RS5 carbon fiber right here sexy that is total sex oh man this really is beautiful exhaust then again I got I got the Two Brothers Carbon Black series. Yeah. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the stainless steel pipe. This isn't a titanium pipe. This is stainless steel. Because this right here, I got a full exhaust, and this one's a titanium pipe, and it, it looks like shit, but there's my heat shield. That's the whole reason we're reinstalling his heat shield. All right, so far, just now getting the pipe on. All I have to do is bolt it on right here. Where you got all righty-tighty down there. Then we're going to take another sound check again to see how it sounds with just the pipe. And then we'll put the actual exhaust on, and then we'll see how it sounds then. Make sure your kill switch is off. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> This stuff smells richer than Donald Trump's shit. No, it's gonna be rich. You have a more free flow exhaust now. No, not not so much. You still have a servo on it, and you have you have an O2 sensor. These things do not have O2 sensors. Mine mine doesn't come with it, so it doesn't know how to change the fuel system. This, after you ride it a little bit, it'll change it. All right, here we go. We're about to go ahead and stick the can on, and then we'll do a sound check there too. All right, and this is what it sounds like when we got this beautiful Yoshi RS Carbon Fiber Five can on. Turn this beast on. <laughs> Now the comparison test. You heard what that sounded like. I need to leave a comment down in the section below about which one of these asses you like the most. Not including his. You like Orange Lovin' or uh, Blackie over here. Man, that pipe is hot. Look at all that. That smoke coming out of it. Looks like Snoop D-O-double-G's been chilling inside. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and put the clothes back on this thing unless you want to drive a naked bike around. I'll pass. All right, works for me. Right. Anyway, guys, make sure you go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the video. Comment on the bottom. 
If any of your friends have Kawasaki's, Hondas, Yamaha's, Suzuki, Ducati, Aprilia, anything, send them this video. Sure, they may not have the same type of exhaust or bike, but why the hell not? Everybody loves something that sounds really good. I stepped on something. Guys, love you, Internet. Make sure you subscribe, share. Motovlogging coming soon. Isn't that right? Yeah, you need a haircut. I look like JFK. <laughs> JFK? Why? Because he got his head fucking blown off. By the CIA, I might add. <laughs> Bye, Internet. <laughs>